Hey, it's Joe Glines, and uh, I wanted to do the explanation here. Um, Devin's taking my Intro to AutoHotKey course on Udemy, and he had a question regarding um, how, how I'm doing the folders. I mentioned it in the course of, yeah, these are folders down here, and these are shortcuts, but I, I didn't actually give a tutorial on it. And I think I have a video on it, but I wanted to redo it. It's been, I'm sure, a long, long time, and I wanted to give some advanced stuff as well that, that I love doing. So first off, um, these are just toolbars, right? They've been around in Windows since at least XP. I've, I've been doing this type of thing. And what you'll do is you just right click on the taskbar and say toolbars, and then you'll say new toolbar, right? So you'll create a new toolbar. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I have this, this one here, right? This is, if you look here and we look at all of these icons here, it's under my shared toolbar. And you'll notice everything, of course, the order is out of order, but this U, that's the U, the E, there's the E, right? They're all in there, right? So what you do is first go create a folder and put all of your shortcuts in that folder, right? So if we had another folder we wanted to access, uh, let's say I'm going to go to my work folder. Let's say I want to make a shortcut to this calendar thing, right? I'm going to, I'm going to right click and drag it in and then say create shortcut here. Right, so now it says, hey, there's a shortcut to calendar, but you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this, and then I'm gonna right click it. Now, all right, I'm gonna do the first step. So I'm gonna right click, say properties. Um, I'm gonna change the icon, and here's where I have a P dot icons. I have a lot of, um, oops, icons. Oh, come on, try this again. Why aren't you browsing? P dot icons. What? Oh, it's hitting enter. Oh, I don't want the return on that one. That's interesting. I got to go update my uh, my hot string. I saw I was missing it. And I thought hey, it's not consistent, but on this one, I don't want it because it, it's, it's just putting that. Um, it's still not navigating to it. There we go. So I'm not sure why it didn't do the other window. But here I have hundreds upon hundreds of icons. I could probably search around and find like, an, here we go. Here's a calendar. Great. Now, um, I'm gonna hit apply, and okay. And notice down here, that just got added. And of course it looks terrible here, so I'd probably get a different icon. But anyway, um, if I if I click it here, it will, since it, it, it opens that folder for me. Let's go ahead and get rid of Devin. Um, so here is the shortcut to that folder, right? But notice here, um, it, it's there, right? But you know what would be really cool is what if I could change this icon? So in order to change this icon in your system tray, what you wanna do is to come over here, right click on the folder itself, go to properties, go to customize, and let's stick with that same ugly um, icon. So let's try this again, P dot icons. Why is that interesting? Well, I think it's right in this folder here. So icons and calendar, calendar, okay, open. Yeah, okay, great, okay, apply. And um, what I don't recall now, notice it even here. Now suddenly it's updated here, and now let's see if I click it again. Oh, it's still open. It'll only open one, you know, if it's already open, it just jumps to it. So it this does, this will take effect. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Um, I think there's a refresh that you can do with the Explorer, close Explorer and restart it. Uh, but sometimes it takes a couple of minutes, but this icon will change to suddenly it'll have that icon here instead of another blank folder icon, which, which I happen to love unless you have the, the, uh, the folder named like uh, Excel and you have a program Excel, it can get confusing, but um, but that's what I like doing there. And then for the, uh, oh, so let's actually walk through the process. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna close this because it is, um, it's a little a little confusing. So I'm gonna close the toolbar. So, and I'm gonna get this path. This is my shared, oh, so one more before I go there. If you're working on multiple computers, like what I do is I create a B drive and then I stuff everything. The B drive is my Dropbox drive. And then I create a folder under that and that's where I put my shoulders, so, uh, folders. So this shared toolbar is the same I have on every computer that I'm working on, which usually is, it used to be a lot more. Now it's probably like four, uh, maybe five, uh, because they're laptops and the ones I have in the house. But um, it's really convenient having your same stuff everywhere. Even my desktop is is under um, Dropbox. And so my desktop's the same everywhere I go. It's really handy uh, for that. You know, you can, you can Google how to, you know, point your desktop and other things to a certain folder and just make sure that's in a Dropbox. Um, I think I actually have a video on that walking you through that as well. But um, 
all right, let's keep going here. So now I want this path just because I don't want to have to navigate to it. So I'm going to say here, toolbars, uh, new toolbar. And here I'm going to just paste it in. So it's going to select the folder. And there it is. Now this is how it starts out. And this is what I'm like, you know, it's it looks kind of wacky. Um, so the first thing I do is, is uh, don't show title. I also, I turn off, and actually that one, I should have done that last, but it, you can still do it here. So don't show text. And then right click again and say, um, view small icons. And there we go. I've just redone how I get that. So it's it's very, very simple. Um, the actual creating of the shortcuts and the quick launch type things are very simple, but sticking them under Dropbox, I highly recommend that. Um, f setting it up where when this is, you know, launched that the icon, you know, it, 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 I love customizing these icons. Like I said, all these down here are shortcuts to folders and every one of these folders is under Dropbox. And that's why it works for me. And every folder to Dropbox for me, I have the same exact path um, because I created that B drive and the B drive is Dropbox. And so everything, if we look at them, it all always links to the B, like here you can see B, right? So every path of mine's the same, but that's how you create those. Um, and uh, sorry, I can't. Let's let me pause this real quick here. All right. So what I did, uh, I Googled it, but um, what they suggested didn't quite work the way I wanted to. I came in here, I right clicked and just restarted Explorer and that triggered it. Um, even then, it uh, when I would click it, it's really bizarre to me. I'll close this. When I click it, it right now, it's still not showing up. It will after I, I know after I reboot. Uh, but then if I click it here, then it takes it, but that's what it will look like when you're done. Um, and, and this again, after you've rebooted, um, or at least maybe it's a certain amount of time, it'll refresh, but it, then it's, uh, it'll have that icon for you. And, and again, it's, it's nice because when you have a lot of folders open, um, it's very handy to have that icon. Like, see, actually, I've done this one for the API one. Um, so let's see. Oh, I don't have a shortcut to it there. Let me see if I, I can also add to it this way, right? Great shortcut here. Here we go. Let me close this and launch it. Now that one, see how it's already there? That's because I had done that one before. Um, so it's a great easy way to uh, to customize Windows to start working smarter. Oh, look, I even lost my, my, my clock. Let me restart uh, Auto Hotkey, and now I have my X button thing, which I did a video on the other day. So hope that helps. Sorry for the length of the video, but uh, it's a little complicated, but it, it sure is handy to have all these that, you know, and as you add it, like I showed you, right, you can just right click and delete or drag one in there. Um, so the things you're working on, you know, I have things that I use all the time and then things that I'm working on right now. And so those are the two things I put in here up here. This is computer specific, right? Because each program, I don't have the same programs in every computer. And so it also helps me keep straight down here are folders and up here are programs. But every comp computer I have has different programs installed. So um, that's why I don't have this one shared across computers, just the bottom one. All right. Hope this helps. Cheers. Hi, guys, and thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed watching my content, please remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe. I really enjoy hearing how you're using AutoHotKey, and it's really great when I hear these stories uh, how you're working smarter and harder. Don't forget to hit the alarm bell uh, to get all my videos, because you don't want to miss that one killer AutoHotKey alert. I'm also planning on sending out alerts. Um, you can see the URL up above here, theautomator.com slash news. Um, in it, I'm going to basically be sending a summary of things I've automated, links to cool scripts, ways to work smarter, not harder. And lastly, I'm going to have discounts to AutoHotKey products and Udemy courses. You can sign up for my news alerts at AutoHotKey slash news, um, or just look at that magic button that just appeared right now. Lastly, if you're as passionate about AutoHotKey as I am, uh, I have products on my site. If you go to theautomator.com slash stock, you can see I have water bottles, I have a squishy ball, and I have auto hockey stickers. All these I think are great ways to remind other people how much you rock. All right, keep automating. Cheers.